Now, I'm sure you've all used iMessage. You've sent texts back and forth to different friends, but have you used the full potential and all of these cool features that I'm about to show you in iMessage? I'm gonna show you some really cool tips and tricks to send messages and add a bit of flair to any kind of message to someone else. So the very first one, let's jump into it. Let's open up iMessage here, and I'm just gonna text myself to demonstrate all of these. Now, the very first one is, I'm gonna type something out. This is awesome. And now, instead of just tapping that blue arrow up, I'm going to tap and hold on it, and it will give me all kinds of cool options. So slam, loud, gentle, invisible ink. I can also, at the very top, hit the screen, and it'll give me a bunch of different options on here. So let's say I wanted to go back through there and send this with lasers. I can hit that button now. And now that I've sent this, it'll send it with lasers and it vibrates my phone at the same time. So the other person, when it sees this specific uh, text, it'll do this exact same animation. Pretty fun. The next thing that I'll show you is that you can always reply to a specific message on here. You can just tap and hold on a specific message and then hit reply here. And the cool thing is it will reply in line to this specific text. Now this is great if you're in say a group conversation with a bunch of people or you've gone down several lines and you want to reply to something a bit higher. I can just say thanks here and then you can see now that I've done that, it shows in line that I have replied just to that specific message. The fourth option is to edit a text message. So the great thing with iMessage is that it allows you to edit any of these text messages. I can just tap and hold on it, and then I can hit edit here. And I can add a bit of text, thanks a bunch, and then just hit that check mark. And now you can see it's red, but it shows as edited at the bottom right because I have edited this. So someone else will be able to see that you've changed the text, but ultimately you can change it if you mistype something or you didn't mean to say something. You can always change it after sending it, which is a great feature of iMessage. The next feature is that you can always tap and hold and unsend a text message, which is a great feature if you sent something that you regret sending. So I could say, hi, and if I regretted saying that, I can just tap and hold it, and you can see that undo send button. Now, keep in mind, this has a limit of two minutes, so you cannot do it after two minutes. So if you regret sending something and you want to undo it, you have to do it quickly. So I can undo send here, and you can see that it has now been removed, and they won't be able to see that you've sent that. Now the next great trick that I'll show you is let's add an animated an emoji that will talk and look just like me, but in say like a robot form or something. So you can hit the emoji at the bottom left here. And if you swipe all the way over to the right, you can see it shows your an emoji instead of just the generic emoji that is default on I, all iPhones and Android. So you can tap on that and you can send this kind of personalized an emoji here. That is a really cool thing that customizes that specific message with the person. Now, another thing that you can do, the seventh feature is you can tap at the very top with their name. And if you scroll down, you can see all of the collaboration, different photos, different links that you've sent to one another. So if you remember, hey, this person sent me a really cool photo or a video a while ago, instead of just scrolling through all of those text messages, you can always just tap on this and say hit photo, see all with photos. And you can see this specific photo that you have sent back and forth with one another. So this also applies to links any kind of videos, stuff that you've sent back and forth with each other. Now, the last and final cool trick of iMessage is that you can share your location for a specific amount of time. So say you're texting with somebody and you're trying to meet up and you're trying to meet up at a coffee shop or a bar or something, you can always scroll up and say, share my current location or share my location. 
So I can send my current location. I'll have to go into settings here and make sure that in iMessage, I am gonna turn this on while using it. And then if I go back, I can tap that again and share my current location. And that will share my current location for everybody in that text message thread, whether it's a group or to an individual, and they'll be able to see it and maybe meet up wherever exactly I am. I can show them instead of just texting, hey, I'm at the corner of such and such, you can just drop a pin and send it to them. Hope this helps. If you have any questions on that, leave them in the comments down below and I'll catch you on the next one.